What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys some really awesome crafting recipes in the latest beta for Minecraft Pocket Edition. So if you guys enjoy, make sure you go ahead, slap a like and also turn on notifications if you guys haven't already. Now before I get into uh, some of these crafting recipes right here, uh, you do actually have to join the beta and also you must have this turned on. So let me just kind of scroll down here and uh, you do actually need to turn on cheats and also the education edition as well. So this is what we have right here, which is actually pretty awesome. But before we get into this, I just want to explain one thing. So you might be wondering why I've been calling this 1.4 instead of 1.3. Well, the thing is they're actually skipping 1.3 for whatever reason. I'm not exactly sure, but let me just quickly show you guys this tweet right here. This is from the developer himself. And he is saying the aquatic is going to be known as 1.4. So I just wanted to kind of clear that up because I've been getting some comments saying like, Fusion, why are you calling it 1.4? Well, that's the reason why. So this is to do with the education edition and you can actually make some really cool things like underwater TNT that can actually explode. Uh, there's also like some torches that are like, uh, that you can place underwater as well. Um, also like just, you know, maybe of like a balloon and some awesome stuff right here. So let's kind of jump into this. So for this, as you can see, you do need TNT and also sodium. So let me just quickly go into the inventory and you can actually, you know, just search it up right there. So you need sodium and also TNT. So this map, I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to just test it out. But I won't be showing you guys every single thing to do with the education edition just because I'm not the greatest at, you know, doing this kind of stuff. I just know a few uh, crafting recipes. Let's go into this crafting table. Let's just place TNT and also sodium. And as you can see, we get underwater TNT. So this is actually really cool. I'm just going to get like a few of it. Just like that, it doesn't really matter, I'm in creative, but I'm also just going to get the normal TNT as well. And also, of course, we need some flint and steel. So let's kind of test out this underwater TNT. So obviously, if you use the normal TNT, uh, which I'm just going to place right here, if you kind of explode underwater, obviously you guys know what's going to happen. Well, it's, it's going to do nothing. <laughs> but if you use the underwater TNT, it's actually going to do an explosion. So check this out. And there we go, it actually did an explosion underwater. So it's actually really cool, this beta. So I'm not too sure if this works on just land. I'm pretty sure it will, but let's just give it a go. So let's just wait. And okay, so it just works like a normal TNT on land as well. But this TNT is like an upgraded version because it's better than this, because you just can't blow anything up with this underwater. Like no matter how much you put down, well, how many you put down, uh, as you can see, it's just, it's just gonna do nothing. Like, honestly, look at this. I mean, it might reach up to the top, but you can do, like, millions of TNT underwater and it's just gonna do no damage at all. But if you just do one with this underwater TNT, it's gonna do damage and it's actually gonna work. So, very, very cool. So let's move over to the next one, and I actually don't know what the next one is. Um, oh, okay, so this one is actually pretty cool. Let me just get that. Oh, okay, well, that just removed it, but this is an underwater torch. So you need magnesium and just a torch. So um, let me just quickly just get a normal torch out, so just like that, and also some magnesium. So I'm not the greatest at chemistry, guys, uh, so that's why I'm not going to be showing you guys everything. But you just kind of place it like that, and you get some underwater torches, which is actually pretty cool. So let's just get the normal torch, and I don't know if you can actually place it underwater since this update. Okay, yeah, you can't. <laughs> you can't place it underwater, but with this, as you can see, there we go. And it kind of does like a little block... Uh, water block around it, but it still works and it does actually light up. So let me just kind of go in an area where it might be a little bit dark. Uh, so let's go right here and then just, as you can see there, it, it just works. Like it actually lights up. So very cool. And it also does like this little particle effect right here when you place it underwater. So that is the second one. Now let's move over to the next one. And um, oh, okay. So this is a, just like another torch. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, so if you just add a torch, hold on, let's just go into the crafting table. I actually forgot what this does. Uh, so a red torch. Okay, uh, so we got a red torch. Um, I think you can actually change the colors, like purple and stuff. 
And where did this ice come from? Was that always there? I can't actually remember, but you can't place this one underwater because it's obviously not a uh, an underwater torch like this one. And this time, this didn't actually put the little uh, water around it. So that's a little bit weird that over here it did. Like there, as you can see right there it did. There, okay, um, <laughs> that's really strange. So let's go ahead and do this one right here, which is actually pretty awesome. So you just get a stick and also magnesium uh, and also like a different color. So uh, let's just quickly get these out. I'm pretty sure I do need this, but let me just quickly go into the crafting table. So a stick and magnesium, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's not going to do anything because you need this thing right here, which I just completely removed. But <laughs> uh, we do have this color right here. So let me just go like that. Uh, we need magnesium right here and also a stick. And we get a red sparkler, which is pretty awesome. You can also get like purple and stuff. But I actually forgot the recipe for that. You actually have to change it and mix a few chemicals together. But... As you can see, it doesn't really do anything yet because you actually have to eat it and check this out. Look at this. And then we get little particles. So this is actually very interesting. So if you're very, you know, smart with chemistry and stuff, you might be able to do um, a lot more with this kind of stuff, like more than what I'm showing you guys right now. But this is just the easy part of it. Uh, and we also have some balloons, uh, which you can also change color, like red, blue, lime, all of that awesome stuff. So this is the crafting recipe right here. And I'm pretty sure, yes, we actually have them here. So what you need is actually hydrogen and let me just quickly put this in my inventory, so let's go like that. And we also need some carbon. So with this too, it is going to make this. So you actually need to go into, I believe, yeah, this one. So you need eight and also, you know, five. And as you can see, it makes this. Now this is in order to kind of make the balloon. So I can just make as many as I want since I'm in creative. There we go, awesome. And now we need helium. And also the stuff that we just made, that we just crafted over there. And also the dye, which color we want for the balloon. So, um, let me just quickly get this out. So helium, uh, we also need a lead. And I'm just going to get red out. But, of course, I'm going to get some different colors. So, let's try maybe lime. Uh, there we go. Maybe some cyan. Uh, wait, no. Blue? Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. Light blue. That's what I was looking for. So let's go ahead and craft the balloon. Now with the balloon, you can actually attach it to like say an animal, a mob, like uh, a cow, a pig, all of that awesome stuff. And you can also attach it to like just a fence post, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and make this. So we need this all around it, just like that on the side with the helium in the middle, also the lead and the color dye. So we're just going to choose red to begin with. So there we go, and I'm gonna do a few others, so, oh, I'm actually kind of running out of this stuff, but that's okay, because uh, we only need a few, so let's try lime, so there we go, we got a lime balloon, and do I have enough? I don't have enough, so I might need to craft more, just because I might want a few more colors, but this rain is getting annoying, so I'm just gonna clear that, there we go. So we have two balloons, you can't just place onto the ground, I mean you can drop and just kind of look at it if you want, but uh, we do actually need a fence post, so let me just quickly get one out, go like this, and as you can see it actually floats, so very very cool. That is the helium working, so it's just awesome that we can actually, you know, test this out in Minecraft Pognition. Now let's go ahead and test out something else, so we're gonna get a pig, uh, maybe like a cow. So I have a few mobs. Let's go ahead and make these uh, mobs fly. So let's just get a few pigs out and with the red balloon I'm just gonna go like that and as you can see <laughs> That is what happens um, And you're just probably never gonna see the pig again <laughs> Very cool. I mean it doesn't just work with the red balloon. It works with any color. It doesn't matter Look at this. We're gonna try the sheep as you can see it's floating um, Now it would be really cool if we could actually test that on ourselves. But we can't do that. Uh, now what you could do is actually just kind of pop it. I'm pretty sure, yeah, as you can see, there we go. So you can just kind of uh, click the mob again and it actually just goes like that. So very awesome. And can we try on the new mob? So, oh, okay, maybe the new mob doesn't work. So not every single mob is going to work, which kind of sucks. Maybe it's because it's burning? Um, I'm not sure, let's see. Yeah, we can't actually try that mob. How about just a normal zombie? Probably not. 
Uh, so let's just glab that. Alright, so zombie. Yep, we can't try the zombie. Okay, well, let's try a horse. Now, I'm pretty sure you can with just a normal horse. So, there we go. Look at that! And I can just kind of click it again. So, I'm on Windows 10. Uh, oh, it's actually kind of stuck there. Okay, look at this, guys. So, if I go like that, as you can see, um, it actually kind of goes much slower since it is a horse. That's interesting because if we try a pig, check this out. It goes um, pretty fast. Like, as you can see right there, it is going much faster than these horses, but the horses are still going, so it might be like a little kind of weight thing since these horses are much bigger than the pig. That is interesting, but we're just going to remove it and, um, oh, I just kind of attached it again. Look at this. Let's just go, oh no, and it's going to die. Oh, it actually survived. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to try this. Haven't tried this one before, but I'm pretty sure it just makes this right here, if we kind of combined sodium, uh, chlorine, and also oxygen. Alright, well, we're gonna go ahead and put it into here. Pretty sure it just goes like that. Oh, okay. So if we remove the oxygen, it makes this. It makes salt. That's interesting. <laughs> I've never made salt before, but oxygen, and there we go, we just made that. So, not too sure what you can actually do with salt in this. Haven't, you know, tested out all the recipes just yet. But this is pretty interesting because you can make a lot of cool things. So there was actually a few items that is uh, pretty fun you can play around with, like the balloon, for an example. That was a lot of fun. And also, the underwater TNT. That might have been my two favorite ones. So let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite. And that's going to wrap up today's video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you go ahead, slap a like, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. See ya.